Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In this lesson we're going to learn about paying expenses in QuickBooks. We have two options for handling our expenses. We can pay now or we can pay later. In QuickBooks paying right away means writing a check, entering a debit card transaction, entering a credit card charge, making an online payment, or using money from petty cash. When you pay immediately you don't have to enter a bill. Paying later means that you will enter your bill in QuickBooks and then it will be put in the accounts payable and you can pay it later. Now let's enter a bill and we're going to do that from this home page under the vendor center. So let's click on enter bills and QuickBooks brings us to the bill form that it's really easy to use. Now if we go here at the top we can change this bill to a credit if we have a credit from the vendor. If we go back to bill and we uncheck bill received, it will change the bill to item receipt. Item receipts we're going to look at another lesson. So let's click on bill received. Now here we can select the vendor that we're going to enter the bill for. We can also add a new vendor if we need to. Now if you position your cursor over the list lower right corner right here, and then you drag it, you can open or you can view more vendors as we're going further and further down. So that's a that's a pretty neat trick. So let's select ABC Plumbing to enter a bell. And here we can enter the address. I added ABC Plumbing um, as a quick add, so I did not set it up. But from here, you can add the address if you have it. So let's put the address. Okay, and then the reference number would be your invoice number. And then we have the amount due and the bill due date. We could enter a bill due date or we can have the terms here. We can add a new terms if we don't see it under this list. Now the advantages of doing a bill is that we can get discounts from our vendors and in the construction industry if we pay it by a certain time um, we usually get discounted rates. We can enter a memo in here so we could say for job um, awesome because we do have an awesome job and then here we have an expense tab and we have an items tab. Now the expense tab does not go into a job so really it's more like overhead expenses and we can select it from the drop down. But we're going to put this bill under a job and we're going to um, put it under plumbing which is 14 right there okay and then the total amount is 1000 um, no. It's saying that we change the cost because our, our bill is 1000 We may not have a cost in there in, in the item. And then we can select a job. Awesome job. And we can select if it's billable. Okay, so let's save our bill. Yes. And it tells us that we've changed the address for ABC Plumbing because remember we added the address here. So we want to say OK to update the vendor. And we also updated the terms, yes. And here it brings us this um, address information up if we need to enter the zip code. And we press OK. And then it saves it. If we go to the vendor, we'll be able to see that bill here. And here it is. Now let's add a credit memo to ABC Plumbing. So let's go back to New Transactions, Enter Bill, and select Credit. And we have ABC Plumbing as the vendor, the date, and the reference number. We enter it here. And usually credit memos have a CM. And then we have the credit amount of 50. And we want to select the item that we initially put for the invoice. Um, it was 14, our plumbing item. Then we'll enter the amount. And it was for awesome job. And it was billable. 
so that will give a, our customer a credit okay so that looks about it and we could put a memo as well credit for awesome job and let's save the credit let's click yes and here it is as you can see the bills are shown as a negative and the credits as a positive and the balance here is 950 now let's enter a bill for our rent and with our rent we also pay utilities so let's enter our vendor Acme Leasing and we're gonna do a quick add and we're gonna do um, our invoice number we're gonna enter our invoice number and the rent is 650 the due date is on the first with a quick memo and under the account and expense tab we're gonna put rent 600 and utilities 50 as you can see we can split accounts under the expense tab we can also do the same under items if we want to expense a certain invoice under uh, multiple jobs okay that looks good and we're going to save it okay and click yes and there's our invoice for Acme Leasing. Since I pay rent every month, I want to tell QuickBooks to remind me about this transaction. So let's go back to the bill and let's go to Memorize and it brings the Memorize transaction. What we want to do is we want to name our transaction. In this case I'm going to put Rent. And I can tell QuickBooks how I want to be reminded. I can have QuickBooks added to my reminders list do not remind me or automate transaction entry I want to automate the transaction so it'll do it for me how often it's gonna be monthly and the next date I wanted to have it done would be I would say around the 25th numbers recurring I could put the n amount of times I want it I want QuickBooks to do it so I'm gonna do um, five times and days in advance to enter I want to have one day in advance and I'm gonna press OK now it's taking like a picture it's memorizing this transaction and in order to get that transaction let's close out of this let's go to list memorize transactions list and here's our transaction QuickBooks just copied the transaction that we asked it to memorize. So if we click on it, it brings us to the bill that we just created. And if we need to change it, we can always go to Memorize Transactions in order to edit or delete it. Or we can go to Enter Transaction, and it will open the bill, and we can just save it. And it says, you want to record the new transaction? I'm going to say no, but as you can see, the date now, it went to 925, which was the date I told QuickBooks to enter. So I'm going to click no. And that's how you do a memorized transaction. Now let's go pay the bill for ABC Plumbing. So let's close out of this transaction list and go to New Transactions, Pay Bills. Here we have a list of open bills. Now I want to select ABC Plumbing, so I mark or I check the box and here is the bill now I know we have a credit so let's set the credit for the one we have for fifty dollars we're gonna select it and click done then we're gonna enter the date we want to pay it and the method we could do check or credit card and we're going to assign the check meaning that I already wrote hand wrote the check so I'm gonna tell QuickBooks what the check number was so then I'm going to save it and here we can tell QuickBooks what the check number was and we're gonna hit OK and we can pay more bills from here or we can click done so now ABC plumbing has a balance of zero now let's write a check to Craig's materials for materials that we need right away as you notice there is a balance but we're not going to pay that balance so let's go to banking write a check and here's Greg's materials now on this check form as you can see we can 
select the account that we want to pay from. And when we do, QuickBooks is telling us that there's open invoices for this vendor. So do we want to go pay the bills or do we want to continue writing the check? Let's continue writing the check. And then we get the drop down of the checking account. So we're going to print the check later and we are going to write the check of $100 and we're going to delete this and put it under the awesome job item under plumbing and it's awesome job and it is billable okay so let's save this transaction and there is the check $100 now we can print the check so let's go to file print forms checks enter the check number and select the check that we want to print we're going to hit OK then it takes us to the print printer settings where we can select the printer then we're going to hit print and now it prints now if we want to reprint this check if it didn't come out correct we can click on here to reprint and hit OK and then we can we can reprint it so we're going to uncheck that and we're going to hit OK now we can see the check with the check number now if we wanted to pay with a debit card the process is the same we go to banking write a check but now we're not going to print a check but we're going to type in here we're going to continue writing check what we're going to type in here is DB for debit card and we're going to enter the amount and the process is still the same we have to enter the item it's going to be hundred dollars for awesome job and we can write a memo paid for materials with debit card okay and let's save this transaction and say yes as you can see it now says DB for debit card now let's say you have a petty cash account where you replace the money that you've used every two weeks or whatever amount of time that you've um, selected we need to buy materials from ABC plumbing so let's record that transaction by going to banking write checks as you can see here we're doing a check but we're not writing a check we're just telling QuickBooks that we paid ABC plumbing we're not going to write anything here because it's cash and we're going to select ABC plumbing but under bank account we need to change it to have petty cash so let's go to add new and let's enter our petty cash account Oops. okay and then save it and we're going to delete that and we're going to do $25 for ABC plumbing for our plumbing item Some job and let's save this transaction okay so here's ABC plumbing as you can see over here we can see where the transactions are going or what accounts they're coming from so here's our petty cash of $25 now we need to do a check to petty cash for $25 or if we're taking cash out of the checking account for petty cash then we have to do a transfer and we can do that by going banking transfer funds the date and we're gonna do from checking to petty cash $25 and hit save and close now what I want to do is enter a credit card transaction I also want to pay Greg's materials balance part of it with the credit card the first thing I need to do is enter a credit card in QuickBooks because I don't have one so let's go to list chart of accounts I'm gonna right click and hit no then select credit card continue enter the account number and type in the account name and I'm gonna hit save and close Select no, 
and there's our credit card. Now we can go enter the transaction under banking, enter credit card charges, and it's going to be Greg's materials. You have outstanding bills with the, this vendor. I'm going to select do not display. Okay. And uh, let's enter the amount of 25. The item is 14. Awesome job. And this one is not billable. And now we can save the credit card transaction. Let's go to Greg's. And there it is. Let's see? Under type, we can see what type of transaction this vendor has. And here's the credit card. Now let's go pay some of this balance. Go to New Transactions, Pay Bills, and we're back to the Pay Bills screen. So we're going to select Greg's Materials, and we're going to go down here, and we're going to select Credit Card, and the credit card that we want to pay. But we also want to change the amount because I don't want to pay five thousand. I just want to pay twenty five hundred dollars. So we're going to change that and then save our transaction. I'm going to hit OK and we're going to hit Done. And here's the bill payment with the credit card for twenty five hundred. You can also enter transactions in the register. Let's go to List, Chart of Accounts. Let's go to the credit card register and we can start entering from here. Let's enter the vendor and let's click on Quick Add. It's a vendor. Click OK. We're going to do 100. We could enter the account here. Now, if it's multiple accounts, now this fast delivery service, I'm also paying postage. So I want to split this in different accounts. I want to do professional fees for 75. I could put a memo and then I want to put postage for 25. And then I can close this. And it says split because it's split. And I'm going to save this transaction. Yes. And let's go back to our vendor. And it's right there. Vendor service credit card. And that's how we enter and pay our expenses in QuickBooks. I want to thank you for joining us in this QuickBooks tutorial. And I hope to see you in our next tutorial. Thank you.